Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Wednesday. Now tonight I thought we'd take a look at Buffalo Trace, which is a fairly cheap, well I wouldn't say cheap, it's an inexpensive bourbon. Um, very good value for money actually. So let's crack it open. As you can see I've already drank quite a lot of this whiskey. It's incredibly easy drinking stuff. Um, over a bit of ice, just, you know, fantastic on the rocks. I haven't really drank that much of it straight, but we shall soon find out how it tastes. Someone's just slammed the door over there. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Hmm. So on the nose, the first thing that hits me, and I don't know if I haven't looked at the tasting notes that other people have said for this. But I always get a bit of a sort of banana funk almost. Like you get on some Jamaican rums. It's almost like the best way to describe it if you haven't had too much rum is like the foam bananas that you get um, in pick and mixes. Like that sort of synthetic banana smell what else are we getting Ooh. another a, a good tip for when you're nosing is actually try to move the glass from one nostril to the other because one will be better than the other at the moment i think it's my left nostril that's picking up some hints of Raisins. There's absolutely no smoke um, at all. It's just very sweet. Like I say, this stuff is incredibly easy to drink. Just sweet on the rocks. It's it's practically like water. Right. Let's see what the palate is like. Yeah. So those nice warm fruity tones appear on the palate it's less like synthetic banana now and it's if you've ever had um like if you were ever in scouts which well i was in cubs we used to have bananas and we used to put some chocolate pieces in them and then we used to roast them over the fire for a bit over the campfire it tastes like that sort of barbecued banana i don't know if that's a if that's the correct description for them. Wow, what were they called but basically it was just banana that was then cooked so that the chocolate melted inside and they got that sort of taste to them that's that's really the strongest forefront note it's hard to taste anything past that real sweetness there um, that tastes like fruit. There's not really a lot of complexity to this bourbon, but then again, you wouldn't expect there to be. Um, it's usually around eighteen pounds a bottle, so you know it's not too much more expensive than some of the really bottom shelf stuff. But yes, it's a heck of a lot tastier than most bottom shelf whiskey, and the distillery um, actually do some really nice sort of higher end whiskies. Look at all that. Look at that story there. That'll keep you entertained as you finish off the bottle. But yes, all in all, incredible value for money. This is one of my go-to bottles to just have in. Um, just so easy, so easy to drink. Um, and overall, fantastic for the money so we'll stop that there there's not really much to say uh, when it comes to the finish it's just very you know it's in there leaves a little bit of a sweet taste in your mouth and then it's gone so i hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now